the glare a little bit too much. Hi guys, I'm Shannon and today I'm going to be doing a cooking video for you guys. And I know I usually post makeup content or vlogs, but I decided to start posting like food related stuff on my channel. Um, I know you guys have seen stuff like BuzzFeed tests um, where, or BuzzFeed food tests where they test out recipes that BuzzFeed has posted. But I kind of want to do something more than just BuzzFeed. But today, I thought it'd be interesting to take something out of Chrissy Teigen's um, cookbook, Cravings. I really wanted to try out some of these recipes. And the one that I'm going to be doing today is the Armadillo Cheesy Garlic Bread. So here it is on the page. And you see she's just like pulling it out. And oh my god, I was like... <sighs> Yeah, cheese is just so delicious. So anyways, I'm going to test out this recipe and um, yeah, it's pretty much basically like the pull out, what do they call it, pull out bread or something um, <clears throat> that BuzzFeed has made. It's basically the same thing, but um, the, the ingredients are a little bit different. Um, but yeah, so I will take you guys to my kitchen and let's get started. <laughs> Here's what you'll need. Parmesan cheese. Room temperature butter. Black pepper. Kosher salt. Mozzarella cheese. Garlic cloves. And French bread. Okay, so I'm gonna start off by combine mozzarella and I'm using a little bit less than um, is in the recipe. And then I'm going to add some room temperature butter. Um, and then you're going to add the Parmesan cheese. And then you're also going to add garlic, um, but I have not prepared that yet, so let me show you guys what I'm going to do. Okay, so once we have that out of the way, you're just going to take your garlic put it under here and then you're pretty much just going to smash away after you finish mincing your garlic go ahead and add that to the mixture along with some salt and pepper now the recipe actually calls for some mayonnaise but I personally didn't want to add any mayonnaise in it um, so I left that out and it also calls for um, red pepper flakes um but i don't know i don't really want to add that i just kind of wanted a simple cheesy bread now i'm just going to take a fork and just mix this all together all right so we're just going to put that aside now we're going to take our huge loaf of bread oh my gosh it smells so good we're going to take a bread knife um and pretty much cut it into like um, a cross hatch. So, but make sure you don't cut it all the way. If you're under the age of 18, please be sure you have an adult to do it for you or have adult supervision. I don't want anyone cutting their fingers off. Alright, so currently from what I can tell, it's like really hard to cut this. Okay, there you go. That's the best I can do, <laughs> clearly. So after this, now you're just going to move this aside. Go ahead and transfer your bread. And now we're going to just stuff the mixture. Make sure you stuff it into all the cracks and crevices because you want to make sure every single piece of bread gets some of that garlic flavor. 
Add some cooking oil onto a foil and add that side on top of the bread and cover everything. After 20 minutes, go ahead and take the bread out of the oven and remove the top foil. Put it in again for about 15 to 20 minutes until the top of the bread browns up. Okay, so we now have our bread cheesy thingy here and we're gonna try it don't know where to pull it from because basically everything's all cheesy. Pretty sure the bread's gonna break off though. What did I tell you? Oh my god. So you know how there is cheese on top and garlic on top as well? It tastes so good. But you know that the cheesy garlic goodness is somewhere in the bread so I have no idea how I'm gonna get it because everything like I said is just stuck together okay so I don't know if you guys can see all this steam and all this like mozzarella coming down um, I can see like the butter and pepper and stuff like all oozing through the sides and the crust also has some mozzarella so let's go ahead and try this. Oh my god. Guys, this is so good. If you don't have Prissy Taken's book, just go ahead and make the BuzzFeed um, pull apart bread because like I said, that's basically the same thing. I'm pretty sure. Um, this is pretty much how it tastes. I don't know if they added garlic, but I know they had mozzarella cheese in it. Alright guys, that was it for this video. I hope you guys enjoyed watching me make this bread, and I hope you guys try it out for yourselves as well. Be sure to follow me on my social media, which is all linked down below. And please don't forget to give this video a thumbs up if you guys like this cooking video, and if you guys want to see me do any more um, like recipe things. So yeah! I will see you guys next time, and I think that's it. Bye, guys. Wow. Right? Candy cake on the bottom. Dolce K, I open up. It's candy cake.